Hey, it's Mike from Drive80.com, and today I'm going to discuss about making After Effects non-scary. And today we're going to focus on this toolbar here, but instead we're just going to talk about the selection tool. And then I'm going to make other videos where I'll do the hand tool and the zoom tool and stuff, because I want to make these little bite-sized pieces, even though this might be 18 minutes. It'll take me about 30 to an hour to do the whole thing. Uh, what we're going to do is start off, we're going to have to make sure your project panel is open, and we're going to hit this little icon here to create a new composition if we want to cheat, but if not, we want to do this the professional fast way. If we're working on Mac, we're going to hit Command N, Control N for PC. We're going to make a new comp with 1920, height 1080, square pixel. I never touched this, so you can if you'd like to, but I don't know what's going to happen. Frame rate 24. If you want to speed it up, you can make 30 or 60. I recommend 24 to 30, so I'll stay with 24. This is fine. Background color, I have this nice blue color. Perfect, there it is. And to do anything with the select tool, um, one thing, obviously, is you can, it'll automatically be the select tool if I'm over panels, which is great because then I can select these panels, which you see is happening as they're just being highlighted by this After Effects yellow. Again, this is an older version of After Effects, but the newer versions of it's still, the same rules still apply until one day I get the new copy, even though I can't stand Creative Cloud at the moment for After Effects. Anyway, select tool. There it is. If I'm on the, the, uh, the in the composition right now, I can't really do anything with that. I can draw some boxes, and if I have a bunch of things on here, then I can select them, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so I am going to just kind of give, probably brush over a couple of these unknowingly, especially because I need to get this rectangle tool to draw. But um, I'll go into the more things more in depth in other videos. So let's get, let's get, let's get a square on the stage. Hit Q as in Qbert. Hopefully you know the reference, depending on when you were born. I'm going to hit Y for the pan behind tool up here. So again, these are some things I'm going to do. And I'm going to just center this here. So I'm just going to, you know, you'll know you have the um, pan behind tool if you've got this like weird shape outside of the pointer. So I can select this and move it to the middle by hold command. And then I'll hit shift command A to deselect. To get now, let's say I still had the Y tool, I would hit V as in Victor to get the select tool. And you'll see that if I'm up here. So I hit Y again, it's over here. If I hit V, it now selects this. So at any point where I'm down here, I don't want to go, oh, I'm here. Let me go all the way up. Let me select this. Let me go here. Let me do this. All right, great. I'll move this here. Let me go all the way back up and select this. I mean, it's just small, tiny increments of time can, are going to add up and they're going to kill your workflow. And that's the one thing that I can't stand is inefficient use of time and that's where learning all these key commands is going to save you so much freaking time and then later on we can talk about scripts which I've downloaded a ton here which also save you time but we're not going to go over that select tool great get it now if I hit V as in Victor and now I can select this box and move it around and that's become very helpful when I'm animating so let's say I was doing a position tool and I put a position here and I said at this point it's going to go up and then here it's going to go over. The reason I'm able to do this is because I have the select tool. If I had the hand tool, let's say, it would just be moving the composition around. If I had the uh, W for the rotation, it would just be moving, it would be rotating the box. So the only way to select it and move it around is either by having the select tool, or you can even get really fancy and just use these numbers. But again, if the box is over here, I don't want to go, oh, okay, well, let me just guess what the coordinates are and, you know, make sure they go over here and make sure they go down here. Like, I mean, sure, maybe that can be a little faster, but to save a step, I said, okay, I'm just going to move it here. And that's how you do that. Uh, let's say there was multiple things on in, in the, let's delete that, there was multiple objects on in the composition. I would, um, this always, it just always annoys me with anchor points, like, all the way out. But... Yeah, so I'm going to duplicate it, Command D, and the only way I can move it over, again, is if I had the position open and I moved it over, or if I had the V tool, if I had the selection selection tool by hitting V, then I can move it over. Now, if I want to go straight across, I can't. I can guess and say, all right, cool, there there it is. Or if I want to be, you know, very accurate, I could use this, um, the numbers, the X value, to move it left or right. But if I'm using my selection tool and going right then I want to hold down shift because it will lock it on that path that that anchor point is at. And I'll move it over here. Again, it would do the same thing if I was going up. So I was going up, I would hit select, it would just lock it to this position right here. 
but I want to go over. So it will keep it on this plane of where the x and y is. I'm going to move it here. I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to move it over, holding down shift, do it again, and hold it over. So if I got these here, I'm going to say, OK, well, I want to select all of them. I can select it a couple ways. I can either click and drag and drag it over everything, and it will select all of these shapes. I can do that to do this with these here, I can do these here. If I wanted to select these and select this, if I hold down command, oh, nope, let's see. If I hold down shift, there we go, shift will include that in the selection. If I hold the command, it won't do anything. If I, let's see, shift command, does that do anything? Hmm, let's see, shift. Yeah, so if I hold down shift, it will include it in this bunch that I'm selecting. But in this case, and if I want to deselect it, I could just click off or I can hit shift command A and I'll deselect. On that note, if I hit command A, it'll select everything that's on here, which is great for this because I've got four things on, on in the composition, but if I was working with a hundred things here, that wouldn't be very efficient. Um, so let's say that I, okay, so that's one way to select them. I could also just go down here and I could select these layers. Now this is where the command key or the control key if you're on a PC, but I'm on a Mac. If I was like, I want to get shape layer 4 and shape layer 2, and I click on 2 without holding anything, okay, that's not working, but if I hold command and hit 2, it'll it'll skip over 3 and select this. However, deselect that. Actually, if I was to deselect that, it would be shift command A. If I wanted to get 4 through two, 3 and 2, I'd click on 2 and hold shift down, and it would fill in the gaps of every single thing that's a, that's in between the two of these. And I can also keep going and hold down shift for the one, or I could have hold down command for the one. If I want to deselect three at this point, I can hold down command and then select that, and I'll deselect that one. Again, I could also do this on here. All right, so the next thing I want to do is, all right, I want to evenly space all of these to where the space in here is all equal. But let's say we scatter these around. We're like, all right, well, I want it all to be equal in the spacing in between. I want to be equal. Um, across the board. To do that, I can select all of them, or I can hit Command-A. And now I have to find my Align tool. Just take a second for the effects. There we go, Pass by Effects. The Align panel is great. If you don't know where it is, go to Window and Align. and It'll show up somewhere. Your, your interface might be slightly different than mine. But I can align it to a selection or the composition. Now the composition means that it will left align you know, horizontal center, right align horizontally, vertical top align, vertical center align, and vertical bottom align. These I rarely use um, to distribute, but we can go over them in a second. But let's say that I wanted to move all of these to the left, I would hit this. And if I hit Command-Z, because I want to go all the way to the actual composition, I'd hit Selection, hit Composition, and go all the way to the left. I can go all the way to the right. I can go all the way to the bottom, I go all the way to the top. And as I'm doing this though, now it's kind of combining them, so it's not going to look the same if I go all left. Um, if I wanted to kind of cheat a little, not cheat, but if I wanted to make them all evenly spaced across here, I would pick the one that's, you know, what I would see as like the end one. You can see, just one, there we go. Let's see how this works. So I'd move this one, I'd top align it, and I'd right align it, and then I would just select all of these, and I would hit, oh yeah, actually, I guess I do use this one. And I would hit that. Now it's evenly spaced, and it's evenly spaced. So in this sense, I've kind of gone over the align tool, which I'll probably go more in depth in another tutorial, which you got a little bit of a bonus on that. But that is the use of the select tool. And if I wanted to delete something, I could select it here, and then hit delete, or I could select it here and hit delete. And that's it. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And that is it. So thank you, and please feel free to share this with anyone. You can also email me directly at mike at drive80.com, which you can see here on the screen. And um, yeah, I'm always down to answer any questions and help out where I can. Thank you.